The first official SNES cartridge for North America was released in August of 1991, with the final North American release coming out in October of 1998. During that time, so many classics, so many gems. But in the great cavernous mineshaft of video game history, not everything that shines gets polished. This is Super Forgotten. On September 21st, 1987, English illustrator Martin Hanford published a children's book known as Where's Wally? The World Would Never Be the Same, published in America as Where's Waldo. The books consist of many two-page full illustrations of a specific time and place in history or fantasy, filled with various different characters and happenings, but always somewhere hiding a man named Waldo. Or Wally, if you're British. Or Australian. Or South American. I'm gonna say Waldo. Although Crater's intent is Wally. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Waldo for the next few minutes. It's fucking Walter in Germany. You look at the picture, you find Waldo. That's the idea. It was a huge hit. Ooh, where's Waldo? We all wanted to find Waldo. Or at least look for him. Waldo, where are you? According to an interview he did with the LA Times in 1997, Hanford would sometimes spend up to eight weeks on a single two-page spread. Waldo is, canonically, a time traveler and a globetrotter, according to Hanford, perennially lost wandering through whatever scene he finds himself in. His iconic red and white striped sweater, hat, and socks helped him stand out in a crowd and in pop culture. In the years to follow, Where's Waldo Now? and Where's Waldo? The Fantastic Journey were published as follow-ups with four more main series books eventually coming. On top of that, there are endless side activity books and coloring books, and the first four main books were re-released not long after with Waldo in different places. In 1991, North America got CBS animation Where's Waldo? By 1994, Wally made a cameo in Naked Gun 33 and a third final insult. This man was on SpaghettiO cans. This man was on Boxes of Life cereal. Waldo was killing it. I gotta have SpaghettiOs and Waldo. Then, we got a video game. 1991. Where's Waldo? Comes out for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Developed by Bethesda, of all people, and very loosely based on Hanford's first book, Where's Waldo? It was published by Toy Headquarters, better known later as THQ. This game is not why we are here. I never played it, and on first glance, it's pretty rough, overall. Incorporating not just finding Waldo in a crowd, but other innovative ways for you to find Waldo, like this car level, and this cave. Critics' responses range from Game Informer giving it a 1, to others' complaints of Waldo being difficult to see due to poor graphics. This game's one saving grace is its music, without a doubt composed by Doug Brandon. However, even with this overall stumble, Waldo was red fucking hot. There would have to be a sequel. Finally, the reason why we are here. The Great Waldo Search. Published once again by THQ, but this time developed by Radiance. The Great Waldo Search came out for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System on June 1st, 1992, and was also released on the Sega Genesis and original NES. The game consisted mostly of you using the directional pad to search a familiar, character-filled landscape with a magnifying glass for the man himself. Waldo. So simple. It's brilliant. No exaggeration. It was genius then and it's genius now. Unlike the Bethesda game for NES, you're searching for Waldo in scenes that greatly resemble the look and style of the books. Because of course you are. How do you... How do you fuck this up? There are five levels in which players are timed in attempting to find Waldo. The carpet flyers, the underground hunters, the battling monks, the unfriendly giants, and finally, the land of the Waldos. All of which came from the third book in the series, The Fantastic Journey. In each of these levels, you can also find Waldo's adorable dog, Woof, which begins a mini-game of Woof on a flying carpet collecting bones that are floating in the air. 
Magical. The most surprising thing about this game, after going back to it recently after 20 years-ish, is something I forgot until the moment I was forced to remember. And that's once again how good this Where's Waldo music is, just listen. Oh sweet Wenda. Wenda's another character in Where's Waldo. This game gets so much right. Where's Waldo? And it really only has five levels. This game laid the footwork, the groundwork, for what could have been an amazing series. Uh, do I wish there was more vertical movement to this one? Yes. Do I wish there was more than five levels? Yes. But if we iterated off this formula, which would have been maybe like obvious and dare I say the best way to go about things moving forward, at bare minimum, with no innovations, we can do this exact same thing a year or two from now and just blatantly use some of the new scenes from the latest books, have ten levels instead of five, hell, bare minimum, let's just do five again, or push the envelope and let's do thirteen with a special exclusive just for the game made by Hanford, no big deal. Anything moving forward from here using this as the base. At this point, guys, I think it's important to acknowledge two things. This is the game we are here to talk about today. Uh, but I think it's important to look at what happened to the series as it went forward. Uh, one. And two, I think it's important for me to mention that there is maybe a better Where's Waldo game. There's for sure a more bizarre one. In 1993, Japan got an exclusive Where's Waldo game called Wally Wo. Saga say. <laughs> Which is kind of what I'm talking about. Uh, chances are, with the development cycle, it wasn't inspired by the 1992 release, but it was a good addition to the series, and what could have been the beginning of a great yearly milking of all of our parents' hard-earned money in the 90s. They had added in gorilla races and race car inspections. Here's Wenda again. So great. PC got 1995's Where's Waldo at the Circus and 1996's Where's Waldo Exploring Geography. Both developed by Warner Active. Both these gave additional side quests and things you needed to find for people, but also incorporated other educational elements beyond finding a man named Waldo that I just can't support. And then, what happened? In 2009, Ubisoft remasters The Great Waldo Search for Nintendo Wii as Where's Waldo? The Fantastic Journey. And guys, honestly, they did it right. Not, not a remaster, a full remake. Uh, full voice acting, kind of. Twelve levels now, a multiplayer mode, competitive mode, a story mode with an actual story where the wizard gives you a journey to gather the twelve scrolls. It's like, how do I complain? This is what I wanted them to milk and build towards and iterate on and lead to years of paying money for simple finding of Waldos to culminate in this. This came out on a bunch of things besides the Wii. PC, Mac, DS, other Apple things. This is what I wanted. Uh, from here, now that we have truly looked to the past and found who did it right, we've learned from the brilliance of a studio named Radiance and from now on children will bask in quality Where's Waldo games from this day in 2009 until the end of days. Sadly, the next games in the series would be the last. 2010's Where's Waldo in Hollywood was the first game to pull from the Hollywood edition of the series but was also on iPhone exclusively. And then we got Waldo and Friends for Android and iOS in 2015, which is no longer available for download. In 2018, Waldo was added to Google Maps as a real minigame for April Fool's Day. Also, this just in, Google Maps has minigames. In 2019, it got another TV series with DreamWorks called Where's Waldo 2019. This is Waldo, and everyone is always looking for me. But honestly, guys, that's got nothing to do with anything. And to be even more honest with you, there's no cute way to wrap this one up. Where I'm like, and that's why it's probably super forgot. I don't know why. Where's Waldo 
wasn't more successful in the video game sphere. I mean, even, I'm not even shitting on them moving to iPhone, even something like that. You would think there would be more money in the Waldo series. And I guess that's why, no. There's, there's just no pretty bow to put on this one. They should, it should have been better. That's what I think. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out everything myself and my friend Nicholas Cartier have been working on. Past episodes of the Great Lakes Gaming Podcast are on this channel. Uh, litmentmedia.fireside.fm is where you find the other ones of that. Older episodes of Super Forgotten. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell if that's still a thing. I'll be damned if I finally say it and they change that fucking bell on me. Also, this is Oddlaw. Oddlaw. You can probably put together what's happening here. I just couldn't end this without mentioning Oddlaw. Alright, good talk.